McDonald sees a bit of space in behind Claudia McDonald on her first start for the Red Roses. Snipes around the base. It was about four years ago. Um, I was at Durham and just sort of ended up wandering down to a college rugby session on a Monday night, I think. Um, dark, I think it might have been raining. Uh, ended up there and just really loved it. And the girls that were sort of in charge asked me if I wanted to come along the next night to the uni training and all sort of kicked off from there. <laughs> I think a couple of people along the way had told me that I should give rugby a go and, and I'd really enjoy it. And I played a little bit of touch, you know, the sort of the odd event where they needed a girl on the team, a, sort of a charity match or something like that. And I, and I sort of got dragged into those, really loved it. Uh, brothers both play rugby and the dad used to play rugby. And yeah, just sort of, it was there. It was something that I knew about and then fancy giving it a go. I started playing netball before I decided to play rugby. It was sort of a netball first scenario. But both captains of both teams were very, very good and sort of very happy for me to run from one to the other. And um, yeah, a couple of times I ran straight from the netball court, got changed and then ran straight out onto the pitch. Missed the whole warm up because you didn't need to do a warm up at that stage. <laughs> straight onto the rugby pitch and then, yeah, played a game of rugby. <laughs> In my first year, when I first started, I was a 13. Uh, as I sort of moved, I played at DMP and I think they realised that the ball never really quite made it past me at 13. <laughs> I, just sort of, I sort of headed for the outside and, and give it a good run. <laughs> and see what happens. Uh, so I quickly got moved away from there and I played at DMP, I played uh, on the wing and, and then at fullback and loved those two positions. And then at the beginning of this season, I got moved to scrum half. And it's sort of been, I mean, I love it. It's great fun, you handle the ball so much. There's so many little instances where you can have a, quite a large impact on the game. It's a really tough and, and pressurised position to learn to play, especially in an environment like this where everybody's so fantastic and so amazing at their position. Uh, but you know, I absolutely love the challenge and yeah, absolutely love the position now. So <laughs> excited to see where I can go with it. <laughs> so ever since I was really little, I always wanted to go to the Olympics or wear an England shirt. I didn't know what sport <laughs> because I just loved absolutely every sport. Um, but it was always something that I wanted, wanted to get to and something that I wanted to achieve. Um, and then when I started playing rugby, a couple of people turned around and be like, oh, you're going to play for England one day. And I'd just be like, absolutely no way, are you joking me? <laughs> I didn't pass the ball. <laughs> Ironic now that I'm in scrum half position. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but no, it, it wasn't, it, I, didn't, I never expected it. I wouldn't have expected to be sat here and, and definitely not as quickly as I am now. Chucking it down with rain here, and on my first cap, it absolutely heaved it down. It was horrible, but I'm there like grinning like an idiot. <laughs> like as the national anthem's playing, I'm just sort of, you just sort of take it all in. It's a bit surreal, and you sort of don't quite believe that it's happening, and that you actually stood there in all the white kit with the anthem jacket on. And I didn't actually play for very long on the pitch, but I didn't even care. <laughs> I was just like, oh my gosh, I get to go on the pitch. Like, are you going to put me on? Are you, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> there was a moment when Annie turned around to me and went, oh, Claude, you're about to go on. And I was a bit like, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that now. I know I'm sat right here and I wanted to go on. You know, for that whole sort of 70 minutes of being sat there, I wanted to go on. And then all of a sudden that you're all then going on, you're a bit like, oh, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Um, but no, it's fantastic. And I had my friends down there. I had my grandparents down there. I had family members, my brother and my sister were there. Um, Jumping around, seeing them at the end was just really exciting, and, and yeah, it was, it was it was amazing. <laughs> I think it's the same with any any game or any any team that you play for. You always want to be out there with the team, like, and and being part of that team that wins that exact match and and scores that try. And as you say, I'm I'm always going to be a Grand Slam winner. But um, yeah, I think there's lots more to come in the future, and it's exciting to see how much more of a role I can play potentially in the future. <laughs>